Hi, Phyllis here, southernfrugal.com. Well, I guess y'all have guessed from the title this is going to be a rather controversial video. So, scenario of a bad comment, how they occur, and why. Now, this is all from my perspective. I'm sure y'all know of some other reasons and why and have, have uh, looked into this probably a little more than I have. But anyway, the, the first thing I want to do is thank all of y'all who make wonderful comments because it's been several years now that I've been on YouTube and y'all have made some great comments and especially from the one that I posted on Sunday talking about my hair and my makeup and sorry I don't have any makeup on tonight and I also did not do my hair, it's just up in a ponytail. So anyway, I wanted to get on with this. Um, so I've been uh, analyzing this a little bit, uh, really over the last couple of years, And but this uh, video that I just loaded on Sunday uh, caused a lot of very negative comments and some that were just downright insulting. And there were a couple of, of obscene videos on there now. I don't really tolerate obscene comments and, and just super, super ugly comments uh, that are insulting and name-calling. I, I just don't tolerate that. As soon as I see them, they get deleted. But anyway, now my camera stand is kind of going a little bit sideways, y'all. Hold on. All right. I think y'all are steady now. Hold on. All right, so I want to go over some of these. Now, some of them are absolutely hilarious, but I'll get into a little more detail as I go through them. All right, so the first type of person that, that makes an ugly comment, and, and usually the way it starts, is this person has been making comments on your videos for a while, and they're always positive. They talk about how much they like your videos, and oh, I really like the way you did that, oh, that cake looks super good, and all that. And then they kind of build up to the place where they start adding little negatives on. So let me give you an example. Uh, this person says, I, I just, I love your channel. I watch all your videos. Oh, I can't wait for your videos to come up so I can watch them. I watch them every day. But on this video, they said, but you are, you're a little wasteful. Uh, you peel that apple and you just wasted most of it. That's not frugal at all. Not, not that bad, but still kind of a negative comment. And then that same person, nobody made a comment back to them on that one, and I didn't. And so the next time they're a little more embolden is that the right word so the next time the comment is a little more negative and usually these are people that have been making comments for a while but all of a sudden they just see something they don't like they're having a bad day whatever the reason they just turn completely negative and that's what happened on the video that i posted this past sunday afternoon or so i think i posted it sunday night i'm not sure Anyway, I made the video on Sunday afternoon, and this is Wednesday. So uh, anyway, then uh, it, it goes on, it gets a little worse, and I had one just like this. I don't have the words exactly, but, but very similar to this. You are not frugal. You wasted a lot of water washing the celery. I, I watched gallons of water go down the drain. Don't you realize there are people in the world who do not have water to drink? I would never do that. I'm going to unsubscribe. Well, bye-bye. Yeah, I mean, who needs a subscriber that's going to talk like that? And I've actually had that happen. I did not answer them. They just unsubscribed, which was good. So here's another one. The, the, uh, in this particular one, in, in, and I'm just going to sort of paraphrase it because it was much longer than this, but hi, Phyllis. I love your channel, but I had to stop watching this video. It hurt my heart the way that you uh, did not accept that man's apology. You are not acting like a Christian woman. And then others that have, oh, Phyllis, I am so disappointed in you. You didn't accept that man's uh, 
uh, apology. That was not like you. That didn't even sound like you. And uh, then, then, then these things progress to where uh, I call it a pylon. Now, what I mean by pylon, have y'all ever seen the mentality of a crowd where one does something and then everybody says, yeah, and they all start doing whatever it is, hollering and screaming or rioting or something, but it takes somebody to get it started. And once they get it started, then some of the other people just pile in. Y'all y'all seen that, I know. Anyway, that's what happens here. I gotta clear my throat. Hold on, I'm gonna move the camera back a little bit. It's crowding me. Hold on. Okay, I had to get me a swallow of tea. Okay, so let's proceed. So, here's another one. Now, uh, particularly people, and now I'm a Christian. I've been a Christian for quite a number of years. And uh, I do not hide the fact that I'm a Christian. So uh, anyway, uh, here was another comment. And this I found uh, pretty bad coming from another Christian. I'm sad at your ungracious response. You should have accepted the man's apology. You don't have the right to judge him. You, and, and then this was from another person. You are a privileged white woman. What? I mean, that, that's name calling. That, that, that's on the level of you're a racist. I mean, please, it really is. Uh, and then, I'm sorry you took my remark as snarky when I answered that. All right, and I'm going, I'm going to name someone that started all this on the video uh, on the one that I posted on Sunday. Uh, the call name is Parsnip Burger, P-A-R-S-N-I-P, Burger, B-U-R-G-E-R. -E and I would love for y'all to go to his channel and have a look at him and listen to him talk. He's the one that started all the problem on the video that I posted on Sunday about the man who cut me off and I did not accept his apology. Now there was a lot more to that story than what I told on the video. You got the real short version. And, uh, but uh, just to give you a little hint here, there was another truck behind me that day that also had to slam on brakes to avoid hitting me. That man wasn't nearly as nice as I was. So let me just tell you that part. So anyway, uh, the other, uh, how dare you judge the man because he had a beat up truck. Everyone can't afford a new car like you. Yeah, everyone can't afford a new car like you. How dare you say something about the man's beat up truck. Okay, the man had a really beat up truck and I would just be willing to bet that truck was a truck he used on the farm. It looked like it had been rolled before to me and also hit multiple times. And this was exactly why he didn't care whether anybody hit him or not because it was just an old truck. That wasn't to say that this was some poor person who could only afford to drive this really old truck. That wasn't the case at all, y'all. All right. So, uh, and here's, here's another, this one was good. And all of these didn't happen, uh, you know, from the video on Sunday. These were videos over the years. You're a very wasteful person. There is nothing frugal on your channel. Everyone can't afford to buy that Copper Chef pot. We don't have money like you do. You should, shouldn't call yourself frugal because I call my website Southern Frugal. Yeah, I mean, really. So, again, I wanted to just mention obscene uh, comments get blocked just as soon as I see them. They get deleted. And uh, uh, Google provides so that you can list certain words that are, uh, if those words are in a comment, it, it will never even show up. So, and that, that is really good. But, but some people make up words that are still vulgar to to put in comments. Um, so anyway, so over the years, I have actually blocked 96 people. 
for similar comments that I just read you some of the excerpts from them. Now I get, I've got uh, over 1,100 videos on my channel and uh, during any given day I get six to 10,000 views per day. Now since uh, YouTube translated my uh, video on how to freeze lemons and it's all over Europe and everything now, that particular one gets a whole bunch of views daily. So, uh, and I'm not sure why YouTube does that, but uh, it, it just gets a lot of views. It, it's probably got 350, 400,000 views total now. But anyway, I get, get just an average of six to 10,000 views per day, whether I post a video. I can go for a week without posting a video and I still get six to 10,000 views daily. So uh, what I do is uh, every night for, there goes a siren down our road. Anyway, uh, so what I do is I spend usually an hour or so in the morning and a couple of hours in the evening uh, answering comments. Now, uh, and I don't say thank you enough to all you folks who make really great comments. I'm, I'm usually just real busy answering specific questions usually that people have on uh, uh, videos where I've made cakes or pies or candy or cookies or something and they'll ask questions like well what's the difference between self-rising flour and all-purpose flour or uh, I, I don't know what baking powder is or just some question like that and you can tell they're a young cook and and they're legitimate questions that they just don't know. And, or, or things like, uh, should I line my cake pan to make this cake? And, and just little questions like that. But there are usually a lot of them. So I spend a lot of time every evening and, and a little time in the morning answering those kind of uh, comments that require an answer. So anyway, and uh, I do read all the comments. As y'all probably know, YouTube has it so that uh, when you go to your uh, channel, you, you have a section under the community where, where I just click on that and it, all the, the comments that were made for that day on whatever video are listed. So I, I see every one of them. And of course, YouTube uh, will uh, flag some of the comments. So I have to go to another place to look to see why they flagged the comment. And I can either, there goes another one, I think that's a policeman, y'all, okay. Uh, anyway, uh, so I have to go to that part of the channel to see why they flagged it. And uh, sometimes that will be people uh, trying to get you to uh, go to their website or something, because YouTube doesn't really allow that. They're, they're really promoting themselves and they're trying to get it, get, that promotion into your comments so people will go to their channel or watch their videos. And uh, what happens uh, when people do that is uh, YouTube always flags those and you have to approve it. And usually I don't approve them because that's just people that are trying to get more subscribers in a, way, in, in a different way. And I don't do that kind of thing, but some people do. But, but I don't really allow that either in my comments. All right, so uh, now what are the reasons that people make negative comments? Now, I've already explained what the pylon is. Somebody makes a really negative comment and it causes other people who are maybe a little bit negative uh, to have the courage then to agree with them or to add even something worse to the comment. But I, and let me add in that there are also people who will defend me. And in fact, there are a lot of people that have done that. So what that does, when you make, when somebody makes a negative comment and then somebody makes a, another negative comment and then all of a sudden somebody comes in to defend whatever it was, then that places those comments up at the top. And to give you an example, on the video that I made on Sunday, uh, because Parson, no, Parsnip Burger made the ugly comment he made right in the beginning, not long after I'd posted that video. A lot of other people made videos, some of them defending 
what I had said and, and some of them agreeing with him and adding even worse comments. And so that put that at the top of the comments. So anybody going to the video that wanted to read comments, see that first. And what causes that is the number of people answering back to him. That's what causes it to stay at the top. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead and, and, and continue with this. Why I think, now this is my opinion, y'all, and, and there are probably many other reasons, but these are some that I've figured out. The, uh, the people that make uh, really bad comments are just simply unhappy people, and, and they also probably want attention. So they make a bad comment, and they're really wanting somebody to respond back to them, and then they get to make another comment. So that sort of gives them some kind of identity, it would seem. All right. They are trying to get others just to agree with them. Just, you know, well, well she, should have, uh, 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 she should have accepted that man's apology. She's not any kind of Christian. What, what was she thinking? I, 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 just can't, I, I just can't watch anymore. I've had that kind of thing. I have. So uh, anyway, uh, the other reason is they want others to go to their channel. So think about it. This Pars, uh, Parsnip Burger has a channel. I, I don't think he's got but four subscribers. And bless his heart, I think he is trying. But, it, you know, when you're a negative person, then other people don't really want to watch you. I mean, there might some people like it, but but I know I don't. I don't like to watch something that's so super negative all the time. And uh, I'm not sure why, but he's really only got four subscribers because I looked at his channel just to find out who he was. And you can, you know, listen to him talk and everything. Again, his, his name is Pars... Well, his call name on YouTube is Parsnip Burger. Okay. So let's go on. All right, so people want other people to notice them and go to their channel because usually then their name on YouTube will also be maybe the name of their channel. So, and, and that's the case with this particular man. All right, they are jealous. For whatever reason, they're just jealous. Maybe their YouTube channel's not doing as well as yours is and they don't have many subscribers, and they don't like the way you look, and they don't like the way you talk, and uh, they're better than you. So, but, but you've got more subscribers than they do, so they're jealous. I mean, I don't know any other way to put it. That's what it seems to me. So anyway, uh, the other thing that, and I know this happens with teenagers a lot and young people, these people are simply bullies. Uh, when you're on YouTube, you can be uh, anonymous, and they hide behind that and, you know, make all kinds of comments. Now, uh, I know that, that teenagers get bullied a lot this way, and, and young, young people, even uh, people in uh, middle school and even grammar school get this, and they're really, uh, I think there ought to, uh, maybe there already is laws against it, but but us older people get it too, so nobody seems to be immune to this that's on YouTube. And uh, so when you, when you get on YouTube, you are, you're, you're just kind of putting your life out there. And uh, now I don't think uh, we don't put as much of our life out there as a lot of people do, especially when they're doing uh, daily vlogs. Uh, you, you're kind of finding uh, about everything about them almost. And, uh, I don't quite agree with that. I mean, I, I don't want people to know every detail of my life, even though uh, if you're doing videos, they're going to know some of your life. So, but anyway, back to this. So uh, the uh, people that defended me in this latest video, I really thank you for that. I appreciate it. Uh, one of the things that did happen in this video, uh, which was a little unnerving, that fellow Christians would also attack me and, and uh, be very judgmental because I didn't accept the man's apology. Now, for all of those people, if any of y'all are still watching, I would say this to you. It's been 
uh, several, well, I don't know if it's been several weeks, at least two weeks, maybe longer, that this happened where this man cut me off. I still don't feel like his apology was sincere because I think he was fearful of what I might say to him, and he was also fearful of the man who was behind me that almost hit me. And that guy was a great big guy, and he was headed towards him too. Now, I didn't, I wasn't headed towards him. He just happened to be there. And I, I think he was more afraid than anything else, and uh, that kind of got his apology going now. Uh, how do I know that he, he didn't, he wasn't sincere in that? Just an inner feeling, y'all, I don't know. I felt like he was afraid and he just said the only thing he really could say. But anyway, a lot of people judged uh, that uh, I should have never done that. How could I call myself a Christian and not forgive somebody else and all that kind of stuff? Well, my Christian walk is pretty much my business, okay? And who I forgive and who I don't forgive is also my business. So uh, I don't really think you have a right, you people that said that, to judge what I do. Just like I don't really judge whether you forgive somebody or not. In fact, maybe I've got a little complaint against you. Yeah, maybe I do. See, it's real easy to act the way you act and, and write down what you write down because you're anonymous. Nobody knows who you are, you think. YouTube knows who you are because you had to get a channel in order to do that. So you're not really as, as um, anonymous as maybe you think you are. Now, here's, here, here's another little thing about that. Would you say those things to someone in person? I'm willing to bet you wouldn't, no. Because you know what? At some point, you're going to run into somebody and you're going to say something like that and you ain't going to do so well, okay? Because people don't allow people to talk to them that way. And, uh, but on YouTube, you can do that and, and it would appear get away with it, but you really don't. So that brings me to the next thing. So... YouTube, of course, gives me the ability to block anybody who makes comments on my channel that I don't like for whatever the reason. They don't care what the reason is. I mean, you, you, you can just not like the person and block them from making comments. So uh, what I did uh, this morning is I blocked 11 people. Now, those people that I blocked this morning were, number one, Parsnip Burger. He will never, ever be able to make another comment on my YouTube channel. Now, the people that piled on with him, even though a few of them were longtime subscribers, you're also blocked. And why is that? Because, in my opinion, those that piled on after this parsnip burger made his comment are worse than he is because you didn't have the courage to come on and say make the ugly remarks you made until you saw his remark. And that's why I deem you worse than him. So no, I don't need you watching my videos. I don't need you subscribe to my channel. I'm not in it for that reason. And so, you know, Bye-bye, okay? I mean, and, and, you know, I know, because I know people well enough to know this, you'll still be watching my videos. I am 100% sure of it, because you're not going to be able to resist. Because you now that you've been blocked, you've got a good reason to hate. And see, that's what people, people are doing that are making... They've really got some hatred in their spirit. And they've got to vent it somewhere. And, you know, no mistaking this, I'm not the only one they vent on. I can tell you that. So a lot of the uh, comments, there were many really good comments and those who were defending me. Now, I would suggest this. If you, if you want to defend me to do with a comment, don't reply to that person's comment. What you need to do is type their call name in there and address them 
but make it a separate comment. Otherwise, that comment's just going to stay at the top of that video forever. And the more comments it gets under it, the more. And that's what that person is after. He wants people to agree with him. And those that don't agree with him, he wants to argue with. So if you go back and forth, back and forth with that person, you'll end up like my video did with 42 replies to his one comment. That's just wrong, y'all. It's just wrong. So people that are making the negative comments, if they don't already have a YouTube channel, you need to get a YouTube channel for yourself. And guess what's going to happen to you? Yeah, the same thing, because everybody that's ever put up a YouTube video and has a channel and is posting regular videos will get haters and trolls, that's what they're called, on their channel. So, and I would like to, at this time, take opportunity to thank a young lady. Uh, her, uh, her site is called Carolyn's RV Life. I watch her all the time. She travels over the, she's in the West right now, and she travels around in a Class C, and she makes videos for sure every other day. Now, why do I watch Carolyn? I just really like her. I like the way she talks. I like the sound of her voice. I like the way she laughs. I like her dog. I like her RV. And I like the places she goes. But one of the things that she did a couple of days ago is, of course, she had got some bad comments and all. And I think one of those comments was uh, uh, she was telling uh, Carolyn that she didn't like the places she was going. Couldn't she go somewhere more green? And couldn't she do this? And couldn't she do that? And so Carolyn was answering the, the comment on her video. And so the, the video kind of clicked on the comment that was made and then it clipped back to her and she just leaned up to the camera and she said tough which that's true I mean I, I, I really respect her for having the nerve to just come out and say you know tough you you don't like my videos and where we're going tough and then she moved on so uh, that's sort of what this video is to say to those people who made the comments and who didn't think I was acting, uh, you know, like a Christian woman, and they were shocked and whatever. Too bad. This is who I am. I stand up for myself. I don't let people run all over me, and I don't think any Christian should. I think you should have the power within you with the Holy Spirit inside to be a mighty king and a priest in this land. That's what God calls us, kings and priests people in the world that aren't even Christians, and certainly not other Christians, ought not to be able to run all over you. You need to stand up for yourself and quit worrying about, oh my, I should have forgiven them. Oh my, I shouldn't say this about them. Just go ahead and call a spade a spade. I mean, God already knows, right? He already knows. And let me just add, God saw what that man did when he cut me off that day. And he also had a great big man in a brand new pickup right behind me. And he was very unhappy with what happened. I was too, but I didn't realize the other man was more unhappy than I was. So I didn't tell all that on that video, but I don't think it would have made any difference because some people are just going to make negative comments no matter what you do. If I'm making a meringue pie, I guarantee you that maybe they've got three or 4,000 views. There'll be a couple in there. They'll say, well, I don't like the way you made that meringue. You shouldn't have put that sugar in like that. You should have done it like I do it. They, people do that. Yeah. Now, I, again, I, I just want to, and I know some of y'all are watching. I know you are because you can't resist, okay? But when you go to make a comment, it's not going to print on my channel, okay? And I'm pointing right at you. Yeah, it's not going to show up on my channel, so you just have a good day, okay? Anyway, uh, you, you, you just can't uh, make comments like that. They're written down, and they're forever there unless you delete them or I delete them, and then I block you. 
So you can't, you'll have to go to someone else's channel to make your ugly comments from now on. That's just the way it is. This is life. It's tough sometimes, okay? So anyway, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed listening to this. And this has kind of been an expose on people who make bad comments. So I will see y'all on some regular videos soon. Um, things are going well. I'm getting spring cleaning done. And I've got about half of it done so far. It's a lot of work because I don't really clean and uh, until after the pollen is pretty much gone because it really doesn't do any good. I mean, when you dust off furniture and you look at your, uh, your white dusting rake, it's green. So I wait until all that happens. And so that's why I've waited till now to do my spring cleaning. All right, so we will see y'all next time. And I hope y'all enjoyed this. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.